So basically I want to document my experience. Um, I found out that I was pregnant a week and one day ago today. Today is February 28th, 2022. Um, it's so weird to even still think about. So I turned 19 on January 31st, 2022. And honestly, like, I didn't feel any different than how I normally was until about a week before I took the test. Pretty much, I just felt like off. And I know that's really vague and not helpful, but it's true. Like, I kept waking up in the middle of the night, which is not like me. Um, I would, I don't know, like, I just felt off. Like, things that I would do, like vaping or something, started to make me so nauseous for no reason. Um, certain foods that I usually love, like, I couldn't even be around the smell. Um... But honestly, I still didn't think too much of it just because I would never have thought that I was pregnant. But the day that I was supposed to get my period, or like around there, um, I just was concerned, I guess. Anxious would be more of the word. I was anxious. So I decided to buy a test just to just to like ease my conscience basically because I really didn't think I was so I go to the store um bought just like the cheapest brand like the early results whatever um and I came home took it um I still wasn't very anxious but my roommate was with me and she was anxious Anyways, um, so the time is up, you know, it's like the longest two, three, whatever minutes of your life, and the timer goes off, and I go to check it, still, like, genuinely not thinking that I would be. Lo and behold, the little, there's a little, little line, you know, and I was like, no, like, there's no way, you know, like, denial, so I take the other one also positive so now i'm starting to like panic a little bit but i was like you know what it's fine like it's an early test i'm gonna go back to the store like buy the most expensive one and like not an early results you know so oh and this whole time like we're babysitting a girl so there's like this young girl at our house that we're like watching and just like going back like between my room and like out there to, you know like take care of her um, so I go back to the store, like, after we dropped her off, and I buy, yes, like, the most expensive, like, best reviews, whatever, and, oh, no, this sounds good now. Um, oh, yeah, so I buy the best one I can find, and then, um, the same thing, it's just positive. And I was like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? So I take the last one just like, just in case. And obviously positive. So now I have four tests that are all positive. And I'm just sitting there like, honestly crying. Because it was so surreal. Like, I could, I never imagined ever that this is how my life what I've gone I just moved out in December moved out when I was 18 turned 19 literally less than a month ago um yes I literally would have never pictured this life for myself I always wanted to be like the cool fun like traveling aunt like you know who just like spoils all her nieces and nephews um but now I'm like the young mom who's like gonna struggle well hopefully not like honestly i'm gonna do my best and do the best that i can to provide my kid with the best life i can possibly give it um 
I do have my boyfriend. Um, I remember like telling my family, my mom was, the sun is so bright. My mom was really, really upset. Um, she is a pretty strict, like, in religion type of thing. So when I told her it didn't go over super well at first, um, I think she's calmed down a little bit now, but I still don't think she's necessarily happy with me. Um, my dad did take it well. He was really, like, supportive and just, like, we're there for you, you know, supportive. Um, my boyfriend's parents also took it really well, which honestly I'm blessed for that because I know a lot of people have it so much harder and like their families aren't there for them like that. So I'm really thankful that they are going to be. Um, yeah, basically I'm still a little bit in shock. I'm taking my vitamins, trying to stay hydrated. Um, it's definitely been a challenge for me to eat more because, I don't know, before, like, I obviously would eat, but it wasn't, like, such a top priority, you know? Like, I could go a while without eating and, like, be fine. But now, like, I can't do that. I have someone else to think of. But, basically, yeah, I just wanted to, want to document my whole experience and have something, to, like, to look back on and to show my kid once they're older like all the things that I go through or that I went through I guess and I guess if like other people have advice it's you know my first time so I'll take whatever I can get yeah it's also like so stressful because like I live with a roommate right now I don't live with my boyfriend I don't live with my family, like, and so that situation, like, I don't really know what to do if I should move back home just to save money or what, like, I don't know. I don't know if I even introduced myself, but my name is Miranda. I did say I'm 19 years old. I live in Florida. Um, I'm pregnant. So there's that. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, but seriously, like, if you have any advice, like, I'll really take it.